guys welcome to my channel on today and welcome to sandra burnett lifestyle thank you guys so much for joining me on today in today's video i am going to do a six step makeup tutorial for women over 60. now guys i do want to say how i'm going to apply my makeup i got the ideals from a youtuber named amani lee marie so go on and check her out so if you are interested in this video then i need you to keep on watching but before we get started remember subscribe to my channel click that notification button so that you can be notified when i post new videos give me a thumbs up Keep those comments coming and let's get busy. Okay guys, so we are going to get started. One of the first things that you want to do before you put any foundation on your face is to get a good moisturizer for your face. Now my skin is extremely sensitive. So what I did is I found the Olay Sensitive Moisturizer. Let's see if we can get that focus. I found this on Amazon. I'm going to put all of the products in the description section of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit of this cream. I have nothing on my face right now. So I'm just going to just put it on. I don't want to put too much because I don't want my face to be shiny. My skin is extremely sensitive. So I have to be very careful what I use. Step number one is putting on a primer. Now I have the app primer here. Let's see if we can get it focused here. Now this is a nice primer and I really do like it. It is the Power Grip Primer. So we're going to get... Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and put it right in the T area of your skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this to sit just for a moment. So while we're waiting for this to kind of dry down, I just want to say that primer is the base for your makeup. It's the barrier between your makeup and your skin. Definitely want to try a primer. Step number two, you want to put on your foundation. Foundation helps to cover up dark spots, help to give your skin more of an even tone. And so I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown. I found this at Macy's. The color of this makeup is the Golden Almond. And I'm just going to put just a little bit on the back of my hand. Let's see, let's put two skirts. And I'm going to use a Beauty Blender sponge to apply my makeup. I like this actually better than the makeup brush. Take my hand and just put a few dots over here. And I'm going to work in sections. So I'm going to start off on this side. And so you just want to, I'm using my mirror here, just want to tap. I'm going to avoid the eyes. It covers up pretty good. Let you see it. You can see how it covered up some of the spots. Now you notice I didn't go to the forehead. I'm just going to go just up just a little bit here. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Step number three is concealer. Now your concealer helps to conceal or cover the dark lines under your eye, even dark spots on your face. You want to get a concealer that is two to three shades lighter than your foundation. 
I will be using the Ramir Multitask Concealer. I'm only going to put this on very lightly because I found out if I put too much concealer on, it makes my eye look worse than better. You can see the lines under my eyes more because the concealer goes in between the lines. I'm just going to put just a little bit on and I'm going to work in sections. I'm going to let you see the lines under my eye. You can see them right there very dark it doesn't cover totally but it helps a lot I'm going to just start off putting some right here in like the corner here of my face and put a little here and I'm going to go ahead and take my beauty sponge and start working it in I'm just tapping it Bringing the other side together and just tapping it. Avoiding so much of getting into the corner where you can see the dark spot. I'm going to go and work below it right now though. Now I'm going to just tap it just a little bit. So I'm going to do the other side now. And just put a little bit over here. I forgot to say this, but you want to dap your sponge before you apply any makeup. Because a dap sponge helps the makeup to apply better. And now I'm just going to tap just a little bit under the eye. And I'm going to leave it alone. Now what I'm going to do is take some of the concealer and put just a little bit down here. I'm working really in sections and tap. I'm going to put a little bit right under my nose. Okay, then I'm going to just put just a little bit on my forehead. You can see where it looks shiny. Just going to put about five dots, six dots. Tap it. And I'm just going to stay in that area where there's this shiny spot. Then I'm going to take a little bit, go down my nose. Go up and down. Tapping. So as you can see, part of my face is light and part of my face is darker. I still have some makeup on the back of my hand. I'm going to take my sponge and just kind of tap a little bit of it off and I'm going to help blend in those areas where I put the concealer with the rest of my makeup. I'm just blending it in. Go ahead and tap and do the other side. Go ahead and just tap down here. So you notice I didn't do anything with my eyebrows yet. I'm just going to do just a little bit with them. I'm going to take this eyeliner that I bought from one of the uh, beauty supply store. This is the Jumbo Eyeliner and the color is brown. I am going to start at the front here of my eyebrows and just make a light line. And then I like to go underneath and stay as close to my eyebrow as possible. I made a very light line and then I take this brush here and I'm not sure what it's called right now. I will find out the name of this brush and make sure that I put it in the comment section. Just help blend it in together so that you don't see the actual line. Now 
Now I'm going to take a little bit of this concealer, help give it a little highlight. So I'm just going to put just a little bit right there and just kind of work it. You can see the little highlight. We don't have to always put a lot of makeup on. I like to personally look as natural as possible. Step number four, which is your contour, which helps to add shadow to our face. The contour that I will be using is the Fenty Beauty Match Contour. It's the Express Show. It glides on very nicely, and that's why I like it so much. So you want to just take a little bit and put it right along the jawbone. And I put it on upward. You don't want to come way down here on your face. Just put it right above the jawbone there. And I'm going to also put just a little bit on my forehead. Usually women put contour on their forehead to make it look smaller. Of course, I don't have a big forehead, but I like the color that it adds to my forehead. I'm going to put just a little bit down here, real light. Then you want to take your beauty sponge, go upward, ladies, and just blend it in. You don't want to put too much down here because you're going to get it on your clothes. So I'm just blending it in. I'm tapping and blending. You can see already that I'm getting color back to my face. Getting my forehead. Now you want to go upward again. Notice I'm using the same sponge for everything, and you can, ladies. The final step, number six, is the setting powder. You want to set the concealer that you put on your face. You want to set all of your makeups and the creams that you put on your face. I am going to use the Sasha Butterscotch Setting Powder. Let's see if we can get that on here. Now, I bought this years ago, and to be honest with you, I'm not sure where I brought it from. I could have gotten it online, but I hardly use it. And it lasts a long time, as you can see. I'm just going to take just a little bit, not a lot, because as older women, if we put a lot of this on, it's going to get into the lines on our faces, and it's not going to look good. And so I have to be very, very careful when I put this on. So what I'm doing first is I put a little bit on the sponge, but then I'm going to... Still rub it on the back of my hands where I don't have any makeup on. And this is how much I got on the sponge. I'm going to start off with this. And I'm going to go ahead and go where I have the concealer under my eye. And I'm pressing. Well, guys, I am not no expert at this, as you can see, but I'm learning how to do this. And I thought I would come and show you what I learned so far. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit of the setting powder again. Rub it on the back of my hand. Get my forehead. Down my nose. And put some here. I'm going to take my beauty sponge again. And just make sure that everything still gets blended in here.
going to add a little eyeshadow to my eyes. I got this from one of the beauty supply stores. I'm going to use just uh, two colors. So I'm going to use this pink here, pink, shiny pink. And, and I heard that as older women, we have to be very careful not to put a lot of glitter on because it actually makes us look older. So I'm just going to put just a little bit on my eye because my eye is very sensitive. Tapping it. I'm going to take some of the darker color right here. Tap a little bit of that and I'm going to put it in the corner of my eye. And that just did just a little bit to my eye. I didn't want to do much with the eyeshadow. I am going to do my final setting. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Finish Powder. I'm going to set my face with this. But to get some of the excess powder off, I'm just going to tap it the back of my hand. Just a little bit. And you can see the setting powder. Next, I'm going to put on the F Spray Overnight Setting Mist. This is going to help everything to set. And I like this. It has a nice fragrance to it. So you can see it's starting to help everything to kind of come together here. I'm going to go ahead and put my mascara on. This is the Ruby Lengthening Mascara. It's waterproof. I bought this also at a beauty supply store. I'm going to learn how to put eyelashes on. And when I learn how to put them on, I'm going to show you how I do it. I know some of the steps that I did were not in order because you don't want to put the mascara on when you put the spray on it may start running down your face. I do want to do my lips which is not one of the six seven steps but I really do like this color. The liner is called Loud by NYX. See if we can get that on here. I guess this just focus when it want to. I'm going to let you see the color on my arm. It's like a burgundy brown color, but it's very nice. So you can see it, and I'm going to just hit the corners. what I'm going to put on now this is very nice it's called butterscotch gloss by NYX it's very nice I like it it's kind of neutral but it's nice with this lip liner look at that I 
I want to thank you guys so much for joining me on today. I do want you to put in the comment section how you think my makeup look. Again, I am learning how to do this, but I think it looks pretty good for more of a beginner like myself. And this will help women over 60 to learn how to apply their makeup. I do want to say also, those of you that have been watching my hair tutorials and you're interested in my hair products, I am having a 20% discount for Black Friday. So if you're interested, I need you to go over to my website at www.crownofglory.biz. Bye, guys.